right, good evening everybody and welcome to the opening night of the 2021 Mansfield High School girls lacrosse team. It's been a while, for sure, over the year. They're all certainly glad to get back on the field. You have to bear with me tonight with these numbers. We're working off a um, roster that was compiled by seven people. <laughs> and you know how that goes. At any rate, we will start with the sophomore goalie for Mansfield High School is Caitlin Zajac. Amory McCoy, number 10, who's just voted one of the senior captains, congratulations to her, is taking the draw. Melissa Shantler is also in the midfield, number 30, who's also a captain, congratulations to her. Bella. And the ball is taken by number 17, Lola Baricchioni, a sophomore player on the varsity team. Freshman. Freshman team, folks, bear with me. One of many mistakes I'm going to make tonight. Ooh, nice try. There's a shot on goal by number 28, Ava Adams. And a great save by the opposite team goalie. It's Grace Fernandez with the ball, looking for a teammate. She's easy to spot, number 12, Grace. She has a yellow stick. That does help us out, I will like that. We won't forget her, right? I agree, Ken. That de de definitely helps me. And thank you, Jane Mayer, for helping me out with this broadcast. This is my first time. and So I'll thank you for helping me, and I will say something else to you afterwards for getting me into this. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Sharon Veracchione on the uh, camera from Mansfield. She's doing a great job, as always. Sharon was also a youth coach yes. in town. Fantastic job. Uh, Ken was too, that's me. In the broadcast booth, I coached the now seniors for a number of years in their early days. So it's nice to see some of them stick with it and hopefully they can finish off their school lacrosse career strong. There's Lauren Clark with the ball number 16. Nice cut there by Grace Fernandez and a great pass by Lauren. Away looks like they're going to come up with the ball. Yep, now it's our defense. It's time to do its part. Who do we have on the defensive end there, Ken? Well, now that we have 20 girls on that end, <laughs> now you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to do the best I can to figure it out. How's that? Go for it. <laughs> well, helping out with defense is Anne Marie, of course, and Melissa Shantler. Melissa picked up the loose ball there. Yep. And also a defensive stalwart, number 20, Grace Bertolino, who I coached for many years. She's always played defense. She's fantastic at it. Nice pick up there by Lauren. Nice pass. Ava Adams. Oh, great shot, and there's a score. Good job. Uh, number 28, Ava Adams. Great Woo! job. That was so a nice pass. was. Nice defense there, too, by uh, Melissa Shantler, getting that loose ball. Yep, if I'm not mistaken, Melissa's going to play lacrosse in college next year. Yeah, Western, Western New England. England. Western New England, excellent. Lauren is going to the University of Delaware wow. and informs me that she might play intramural lacrosse. Ooh, there you <laughs> so go. that's a start. Um, I think Delaware is, is now or was known for their girls lacrosse team, so... I can imagine the intramural squad would be kind of uh, competitive. Draw control there goes to OA. Caitlin Zajac is Mansfield's, I think, sole goalie, and she's a sophomore, has a lot of experience playing youth, and she might play some club, I'm not sure, but she's certainly very... Uh, Agile and active in the uh, net there, so she'll uh, be a great addition to Mansfield's varsity team. I think Sharon will agree with me. Finding a goalie at any level is hard. So it's nice to have a full-time goalie in there. And I was at the last scrimmage, and she did a great job. Yeah. This is uh, Gabriella Gemignani chasing down the loose ball. I believe she likes to go by Gigi. Okay? I think. So why don't, we talk right. why don't we call her that from now on? I was informed of that as I was compiling my roster. This is Cammy Shantler, number eight. Number eight, Cammy Shantler, the youngest sister of Melissa. 
Here's Lauren Clark with another nice, up, nice, nice pass. pass there. And that's great defense by OA. I think that's Lindsay Devine. Is that 36? Yeah. That is number 36, Lindsay Devine, also a senior. And there's the first whistle. And OA gets that ball. Well, they tried to do the double team coming out of the end. They're called for another penalty. Also on the sidelines for Mansfield is uh, Janet Tavares, who is the uh, assistant varsity coach for Mansfield. This year she uh, has coached with Brittany over the years, and uh, they're a nice uh, connection there that's really uh, hopefully going to help build Mansfield's program. Her daughter, I'm understanding, plays for Taunton Ooh. High School and is uh, a senior there and is quite a player. And also joining... Returning to Mansfield this year is Allie Skinner, who was a youth, pla a youth player in Mansfield, does a lot of refing, and also played on Mansfield's lacrosse team. She went to Springfield College and played field hockey and is a, a physical therapist, just finishing up her program, and is uh, helping us out for a season. Excellent. Okay. Well, there was a uh, penalty on that last shot, which they got a direct penalty shot, and they made the goal. Instead of going top corner like I would do in my heyday, they <laughs> went, uh, they bounced it off the ground. Um, Grace Fernandez is going to Occidental for lacrosse. Oh, Grace Fernandez is going to Occidental for lacrosse also. Wow, okay, I didn't know that. So all the seniors in school the other day wore their shirts or sweatshirts to yeah. express what college they were going to. And did I asked... You see the video? I did not see the video, oh. but I did ask Lauren, what's the furthest college someone's going? Oh, no. Pardon? Lola got the ball. Oh, Lola, okay, Lola got the ball off the draw. Excellent. Pass. Oh. oh. That's Grace with the ball. Top of the arc. And it's a turned over. So, to get back to my other point the furthest college yeah we'll do it. that they're going to a girl is going to i thought it was i believe it's is it switzerland yeah. that i believe one of the senior girls is going to college really yeah oh, oh, ella verhagen I, wow. I could be wrong on switzerland but this uh amsterdam, amsterdam. thank you <laughs> and the second furthest college is grace fernandez yes <laughs> That is uh, in Northern California, if I'm correct, Occidental College. Southern, Southern. Southern California. Wow, this mm -hmm. is going great, folks. Thanks for tuning Sears in. Is this Bethany Sears into the game, number four? I think it might be. What's that? Bethany Sears, I think, just came into the game. Well, th thank you very much. That was the one number I was missing. So, number four. One of many girls from the Sears family who played the cross over the years. Melissa Good. taking it out of the end there. She's Anne Marie in the middle there. Yep, right to Anne Marie on the side. Up, oh, all right. It's okay. Good we try. The pass. It's okay. Good idea. Like to see us come up with a ground ball. I know we worked on ground balls about 500 million times for practice when I was coaching. It's Lauren Clark back to Grace Fernandez. I think they have to start cutting to the net. They're just kind of playing catch around. idea. A little too crowded in there. Yeah. 
It's a nice pass in the oh. middle. That was good. Good try. Good try by Ava. Looks like Lauren and Ava have a little bit of chemistry there. Be patient, keep cutting. Yep. It's good defense on OA's part for sure. Especially keeping Anne Marie out of there. She's quick. And there's her patented one hand scoop with the ground balls. Been doing it since the fourth grade. <laughs> She's perfected it. <laughs> yep, and that nice high cradle. She's cradled like that since the first day of lacrosse. Oh, almost. Oh. Nice pass in the middle. Missed it. Wrong side. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Got it back. Good job by Grace Fernandez. Yep, nice cut. Oh, oh. Just dropped, dropped it. That's a lot of work in the offensive zone. Turn it over. A whistle on the play. Emory McCoy gets the ball back for Mansfield. Right, Lauren Clark's right in the middle. Get to number four. Bethany Sears. Yep, and there's a goal Lauren? by Lauren Clark, number 16. All right, great Went job. Went high on that one. Good job, Lauren. Uh, she, she is where she is now in spite of her dad, not because of her dad. Okay, we'll say that. <laughs> I think her athletic ability is taken from her mom, even though her mom didn't play any sports. 227 in the first quarter. Definitely a very evenly matched game so far. Yep, and you really like to see those. I don't like playing yeah. the teams yeah. that are might be yep. a couple levels up ahead of us. And it's fun for one team, but nobody else. Nice pick else up there the by uh, Lola yeah. Bracchioni. Oh. The key to this game, too, is winning the draw controls. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. At that last scrimmage, we just couldn't get any draws, and that really put us behind. It's hard. She's going to close on that girl quicker and stay in front of her. Grace is one of the fastest girls on the team. Good job staying with her. Oh. Nice save there by Caitlin. I always like it when the goalie intercepts the pass. And there's number five, Gigi Geminiani, all the way up the field. Yep, pass it up. It's a passing game. Nice Let's go. Pass. Get in line. there. Nice pass. Come oh, on. you got to catch. Come on, come on, ah. Almost. You know, ever since I started coaching, I the girls would always complain, I don't want to play midfield, too much running, this, that, and the other thing. And I tried to stress to them, it's a passing sport. You don't have to run all the way up the field yeah. with the ball. Pass it up. There's always somebody there for you. Yeah, There's Bethany Sears, who got player of the week one time with us. Played a great yeah. game in her youth time. Nice pass yep, there nice by Cammy. Nice pass. Kami. Great job. Nice Good finish job. there by Ava. That's Ava Adams' second goal of the game Good on job. a pass. A great pass. I know, Sharon, you were at the um, 
the scrimmage we had, there's a lot of right. missed passes, a lot of ground they balls yeah, lost. They weren't gelling together. This team nope. was a little bit more. Much, much better. Teamwork and, and you know they're capable of it. Yeah. There are a lot of good players in this team. Absolutely. Just had some rust there. I mean, they were off all, all year, last year. Didn't even have a season. On the circle, uh, I don't think so. I'm gonna fight for that ball. If anybody's gonna come up with it, it's Melissa. That's the first quarter. And then it's the end of the first quarter. Mansfield three, Oliver Ames one. You can stop it. Let's stop it. And we'll be right back after these messages. And your other daughter was just here. She played. She played. She yep, did. she sure yep. did. She played. And she also played basketball. Basketball and field hockey. Yep, I yep. remember seeing her on the basketball court. Yeah, she did. And if I remember right, she tore her ACL. Is that correct? Times time. two, sadly. Times two. <laughs> yep. And a little bit of trivia for you folks at home. Women tend to tear their ACL more than men. And that is because women's quads are not as strong as men's. Men have more of a balance. I researched it. You can look it up. Fun facts. Fun facts. I, like it. I, like it. <laughs> I have plenty of trivia for you. Same way. Uh, same way. And it looks like OA is being a little more patient with the ball, trying to work it in. I'm understanding, too, that the OA coach is a past player uh, from Foxborough. Oh. I don't recognize her name, but maybe she's an assistant coach, or maybe she could be assistant coach, coach or could yeah. be a uh, JV coach. Okay. Okay, here we go, penalty shot. Number 16 on OA appears to have the ball, and the whistle shall go in and shoot it. And it's a great nice save. save a you. great save. Good job. Tried a little trickery there. She tried to bounce it off the ground. Yep. One of the follower teammates, she got a goal off of that kind of shot, but it didn't work today. Because Melissa understands the game. Nice pass up to Anne Marie. Nice grab, too. It was right. a high one. Right yeah. to Lauren. That oh. height helps. There's Ava cutting right through the middle like she's supposed to. Almost got another pass by Lauren. Probably would have scored another goal. She's having a great game. Oh. Still got it. No worries. Yep. You don't want to pass it in there. Nice pass there. Uh, oh, good almost. try. Quick, quick. Uh, oh, good try, Lauren. That's going to be a cover on OA. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, the butt drill. And it's a turnover there. Oh. oh. All right, it's a tough call. But okay. She stays on her, keeps her right there. Good job, Grace. A little tap of the stick from behind wouldn't be so bad. Well, you had three players on one. What does that tell you, folks? <laughs> Means there's plenty of open OA players in the middle. Right up the middle, excellent. Pass it up. There you go. Nice. Nice. Lola Riccioni. 
Oh, my bad. Cammy Shantler. Okay. Up. Good pass. Nice that she kept possession of that in the middle. There were three girls around her. There's Lola with the ball. Passes it off to Grace Fernandez. Over to Grace Bertolino. Learn with the loose ball. It's long. You can't be standing still out there, everybody. You got to move. There's Grace Bertolino with the ball. It's nice to see her in the offensive zone. Probably hasn't seen that since fifth grade. <laughs> Number 20. Is yep, that Grace Bertolino? Yep, yep. Loves defense. Awesome player. Yep. And it doesn't look like anybody's going to stop this girl. She needs to pass it up. It's okay. And that was number 36 who was on her coming out of the zone. Lindsay Devine, another senior player. Loves defense. Matter of fact, refused to play anything else but defense really? for all the years I coached her. That makes sense. And I didn't have a problem with it because she's very good. <laughs> okay. Looks like there was a whistle before that on that shot. How about we call that shooting space, folks? That's a good fallback for every yeah. penalty. No, 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 no. Uh oh, okay. Ooh, nice pick up there by OA. I don't think that I would was say planned. not. We're not at Occidental College playing lacrosse here, Sharon. That's I don't nice believe that was planned. Oh. That was a nice goal. That was a nice goal. That was a good effort, though, by the goalie. Okay. See, right. Audrey Murphy checking into the game. She's a defender for Mansfield. She has some height. Number 27. Yep. She's going to take out number 20, Grace Bertolino. Okay. Give her a break. And what grade is she in? She's a sophomore. Oh, excellent. Yep, she's a field hockey and basketball player. Okay. You know who we are missing tonight is Grace Danahy, another senior captain. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to her. She had to unfortunately miss the game. We could use her speed and height for sure. Okay. Play continues. Ah, it's a nice pass. In some traffic. We have another whistle on OA. Yep, that is Ava Adams, number 28, with the ball. Yep. Nice save. Getting her ground ball, though. Okay. Ball's turned over. The 08 goalie has it. It's always made me nervous when the goalie had the ball and had to pass out of a situation like this. Yeah, nice defense by Mansfield. How long does she have to get that ball out of there, Sharon? Ten, ten seconds in youth. It must be... Uh, one and a half seconds in uh, high school. <laughs> that was an awfully quick whistle. It was. <laughs> I say Either give. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Maybe it was that. We are doing this game live. We're in the broadcast booth up here instead of doing it by Zoom, which is fantastic. Oh, she stepped out. Ah, she stepped out. Unlucky. Unlucky. Bethany Sears, number four. Yep. Oh, it's a tough call, but okay. Lola Verricchione hit the stick. I wonder where she got that from. I believe her mom played uh, high-level sports growing up. Is that right, Sharon? Only, fi only field hockey. Okay, okay, folks. Uh, Miss Verricchione was very, very good 
at sports when she was younger. Don't let her fool you. Okay, she's being modest, which is nice in this day and age. Did you say same as me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we call that save right there. <laughs> I am not the athletic one. Yeah, Maria McCoy with the pickup. Yep. She's going to, well, she's going to, she can, oh. all right. Well, that's, that's a tit for tat right there, a little check from behind and the whistle. Set it up now. Yep, exactly. Shot. Yep. With Lola out here, you should pass it to her. Thank you. Who's in the middle? Middle, middle. Yep. Good. Hurry up. Oh, oh come on, Lou. Yep, nice pass. Right. It was a shot, it was a Just score. Was yep, and that was number 12, Grace okay, Fernandez. Moving the ball around. Moving the ball around. Let's uh, hand it to Lola Verricchioni, a sophomore playing most of the game. Fantastic job. Freshman. You can correct me five more times, it's okay. I'm going to think about it like that. Yep. Friends with my son Kyle. That freshman, the freshman sports in this town are fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Football team, really good. Seventh and eighth grade, they won the state championship in football. The boys did. And this year, the freshmen had a successful season also. Up, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Basketball, I would say. Yeah, I was actually a swimmer. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What high school did you go to, Jane? Norwood High. Norwood High oh, School. Norwood the High. Mustangs. Is that correct? Yep. The Norwood Mustangs. Mustangs. <coughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Can you not step into the circle until somebody has possession? Yeah, Is that the? I think yeah. that's the rule. There we go, just keep going forward. Looks like our senior girls finally got the idea of spacing on the field. For some reason in youth, they always like to crowd around the ball. Nobody to pass it to. Can't pass in a crowd like that, but. Yep, nice pass in the middle. Ah, uh, she should have switched hands there. You got to yeah, practice yeah, with the opposite yeah. hand. <coughs> That'll happen. She's a good athlete. I don't know her at all, but she certainly seems it. Okay. stay on her all right good effort now we're gonna get back on D get two open players away in the middle no pass it to them they should Here we go okay that was a quick sidearm shot there it's okay that brings them with field Yep. Call the time, 152. Thanks, Sharon. And the score is 4 to 3. Yeah, oh, the scoreboard is, oh, yeah. yeah you had it on the yeah, monitor yeah. there. Okay. <laughs> and what high school did you go to, Sharon? Um, Park Place High School in Maryland. Uh, I'm a New York girl. A New York girl. Excellent. Okay. 
I'm sure that's the pinnacle of high school sports in that area, if you played. I myself, uh, I'm positive everybody's wondering. Good job, get it, Emory. Okay. Oh. Okay. You could just feel the energy on that play, folks. I know I could. They are gaining momentum. That was the word I was looking for. Thank you, Jane. I wonder how many timeouts they get. I mean, normally we play two halves. It's four quarters, right? Yep, four quarters. Um, it might be time for a little timeout. Timeout? Just for a little reset. I'd vote for a timeout. Just it would change here. We have uh, Gigi coming back in. Kayla Doherty is taking a breather. Speaking of calling timeouts, I was an assistant basketball coach. I was coaching with Tom Connor in town along with Steve McCoy. If anybody knows Steve McCoy, oh, he's a good, yeah. very father. tall gentleman. And Steve was the head coach. Good, yeah. Things were getting heated. Tom thought we needed a timeout, so he jumped up and yelled timeout. Steve turned around, and I thought he was going to pick him up and throw him through the window. <laughs> I just laughed. Cones and shoelaces is what I handled. Nothing else. Get it, Cammy. Okay. Let's go. Let's move the ball around. Cut. Take your time. Get a good yep, shot nice off, right? Up. Nice pass. Behind the net. She's in the crowd there. And that was a great oh, shot and an even better save. No way it gets the ball. So you connect those passes, folks. It's tough to defend. Nice job there by Melissa. Uh, yeah. Number two, Rose Mayer. Rose, yeah. Yep. Number 20 in the Ooh. attack zone. All right, let's see. Nice hustle there by Gabriella. Nice by Gigi. By number five, Gigi. Excellent behind you. Okay. She's a soccer player. You can tell. You can tell. <laughs> Quick feet. Quick in a phone booth, those girls are. Yeah. And she missed her. She's a junior, but she missed her whole freshman season. She was out sick with mono. So she hasn't played in a number of years. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. That's tough. Lauren had. She had, no, she had mono in the spring of her oh, oh, freshman right. year, of, uh, okay, so right. she never was able to play lacrosse. Okay. And then last year there was no lacrosse. Mm -hmm. Here we are right this year. No, 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 oh, no. great yeah. save. Yes. Get it, get it, get it. Awesome. Okay. okay. And that is the end of the second quarter, folks. Now God no and then on defense we have Kayla Doherty, Gigi. Grace Fernandez and uh, Grace Bertolina. Yep. Looks like Lindsay Devine is making an appearance in the attack zone, I think. Nope, she is not. Uh, that is Cammy Shantley, number eight. And we lost the draw. Boy brings it up. Okay. Nice job by Melissa. She's always been a great defensive player. Yeah. It's that hockey in her, I bet, yep. right? And her mother said to me from day one, don't make her play goalie every game. <laughs> I said, okay. Even though she was probably the best in the team, because she was half the battle is a girl that wants to go in the goal. Never mind if you're in there, you're really good and fearless like Melissa is. Yeah. She would have been a great goalie. I sh I'm sure she'd be great on offense as well. I know uh, she has a bullet for a, uh, a shot, and she uh, scrimmaged the other day. So I go from coast to coast with the uh, with the ball and had some nice s stick skills and made a nice pass. Oh, excellent. I remember a few games I put her on offense, and she, after she scored a bunch of goals, I had to, I mean, in the first quarter, I had to take her out and put her on defense. I said, I can't, I mean, you can't win the game 50 to nothing, Melissa. <laughs> she wasn't happy, which is fine. Turnover in the 
away offensive zone. We get two girls open in the middle here. She should pass it up, passes over to the side. Strong okay. pass. pass somebody's got to cut to that net too crowded in there oh nice move okay good job all right taking nothing away from the goalie the OA goalie that was a shot into the um, goalie nice stick pick up there by good try by Lauren you got to fight for those stay on it you can't give up on those balls we need those ground she balls that's it Go, 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 Good go, job. Go. go right in. Go in, go in. Pass, pass. It's a nice cut there by Al Lindsay. You missed her though. No, one up. That was Lindsay. It was a nice spin move there. Yep. No, it hit Didn't the post. It like it was gone, right? Good effort. Is it the yellow line? It is the yellow line. So that ball stayed in Still bounds. Possession. As yeah. You can see. No way. Up. Oh. Ava's down. Ava's down. Get hit in the head. That's okay. Ah, you gotta watch those cutters. You gotta pay attention. Oh. Oftentimes that doesn't work trying to cut in between two defenders. Yep, pass out of that. Ava Adams getting very frustrated in the middle, keeps cutting, nobody's passing to her. That's a competitor right there. <laughs> the girls are screaming. Hope they get something out of this. They're working hard for it. Keep going around, Emery. Hey, listen, hand it to the OA defense. Yeah. They're doing pretty good, right? Yeah, you don't want to lose possession in there. All that hard works. Yep. That's a whistle in OA. What happened, six? Just an aggressive body check. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it. That's on page six of the rule book, aggressive <laughs> body check, which it probably does actually say. That makes complete sense. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta take it and just. Come on. Come on. All right. Go ahead and make a move. Just go through. Yeah. Oh, nice pass. Yep, yeah, nice pass. Good. Okay. Get a low. All right. It's gonna be OA, I think. Yep, Lola comes up with the ball. Excellent job. The OA defender beat her to the spot, but she came up with the ball. It's okay. Yeah, we can keep playing this game exactly like this as long as we score a goal in the last second of the game. Yeah. These girls who like to hide in the attack Ooh, zone. Just missed. Because they don't have to run. They're getting winded out there doing all these cuts. Ooh. Grace Fernandez is making some good cuts there. 
It's just going to take somebody getting mad that they have to keep running yeah. without scoring a goal just to go in and get an aggressive shot anyway. Like right. Yeah, you get. Yeah, that's, well, that's a clash of the sticks there. That's on page 10 of the yeah, rule book. <laughs> All right, let's go, Emery. Get Always on the got a good defense. Here's Emery McCoy with a shot attempt. Right into the stick. Ah, nice. Good try nice. there, Lola. Oh, Lola almost got that one. She would have had an empty net to shoot into. Yep, nice. Good job. Quick, quick, quick. Nice shot. There you go. Another goal by. Good no, job. No, that, that was Ava Adams, Adams number 28. She's got a hat trick. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great work. Awesome. There's no substitute for effort, and she has it. I believe there's another Shantler girl down there on the sidelines. Melissa has an older sister. Uh, she played. Yep. Isabel. Isabel. Izzy, I believe they call her. Yep. Okay, we got the same lineup out there in the midfield. Hopefully we can win this draw. Oh, nice. Yeah. Excellent. You have to keep working just as hard for those shots in this situation. That was a good shot. Uh-oh. One and a half seconds are up. <laughs> yep. That's so, I've never seen that. Right. I don't. I, I it's got to like be five seconds. Is this seconds. a new rule? I'm wondering if <laughs> I have never seen, ever well, seen know, it. What happened to the self start, too? The that self That was a new rule as of what, uh, two years ago. So strange. Um, so this is kind of like all these waiting for the whistles. That was yep. not happening. A nice pass. X. Yep, that's a. Looks like the whistle blew. Seems to be shooting space is the call. Oh. I think. So we get a. Free okay, shot? A free shot. Ava's going to go for goal number four here. I have faith. She's going to go top corner. She should. And she bounced it. Good job. Excellent job. Wow. Nice work. That could be a bit demoralizing to a team. The OA defense worked super hard on those last two goals. Well, this one so of the last goals. And going back to what you said earlier, this looks much better than the scrimmage. Much better. And it seems like they're learning to work together. Exactly. Good communication out there, too. Yeah. You can hear him yelling all the way up here in the booth. And Amory. Nice grab there by Amory. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Let's get that ball. Just go right in. It's a one on one. Nope. Not anymore. A nice quick move. Great job. Nice wow. Nice shot. Lola Baricchioni. That was great. Yeah. Seven to four. Tried to go in and around, spun around, and got a nice low shot on the goalie. First high school goal. First high school goal, and her mom missed it. Fantastic. And the dad, I can see him right now. Mr. Mark Baricchioni is currently on his phone, and he has been for the last 10 minutes. So he missed it also. Huh. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll only bring that up on Christmas Day. There you go. Okay, when everybody's Thank nice and happy in the. Um, sometimes he's working, so I don't know if he's here. Let's go, White. These midfielders have to be getting tired. They've been working, working hard. 
key is draw controls with one, most of them this half. Yep. Yep. Looks like Grace Fernandez is making an appearance up there in the offensive zone. Yep, and there's Lola again. Yep, number two. Excellent. She's quick. She must have had a good youth coach, Sharon. Excellent. Okay. Well, from what I hear about this head coach, if you're on varsity, it's because you deserve to be there. So it's easy for me to say, but she shouldn't be nervous. She's a great player. Possession again. Okay. Ah. They're really connected on these passes. They have a there lot you of. Go. Come on, Amory. And there's another nice goal. Job. Amory McCoy. Amory McCoy. Yep. That was yep. Makes the score nine to four. So five unanswered goals by the Mansfield High School Hornets. Got two minutes and twenty-one seconds in, in the third. We in fact have two minutes right? and twenty-one seconds in the third. That's exactly right. And you know what? Not a lot of. Tell you. Not as many as I'm used to. Keep fighting for it, no girls. Drop control. Yep. It's a nice pass. There we go. Just pass that on oh, Stay with it. Nice. Nice. Good job. Wow, beautiful. wow juggled the job. pass she got. That one was beautiful. Yep, yeah. shot it up high. Yeah. She's a lefty. Oh, is yeah. she? Yep. So she, but she says she's more comfortable shooting right, which oh, is yeah. odd. Yeah. I am too. We have no goal on that one? I think no. we have a no, oh. I think so. Okay, no, everybody. Oh, everybody stopped and looked at the ref down, down here for a second. Just they're switching everybody out. Tell you our defense is getting bored down here, which is the way you like it. Wow. Well, okay. Another draw. Yep. Anne Marie is really uh, excellent. She's a great, great on the draw. Yeah. Typically, for sure. And there's another. Oh, Lauren can right. only get those passes on the first try. Okay, we get a turnover. Bring it back. Even I can hear him all the way up here. <laughs> That's good. He has to be loud. Big field. Do you have any advertisements for me to read? I seem to excel <laughs> at those. Yes, I had during the youth, <laughs> the youth football times where I announced up here in the booth, oh, I had yeah. many people wanting to buy insurance. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Support your local business. <laughs> Support your local businesses, exactly. Wow, this girl's going to go coast to coast. And that's a great save. Who was it? Caitlin. Uh, yeah, uh, but up number seven for OA we, we took oh. it all the way up the field. She's getting a little upset. Yeah, she's frustrated. Yep, and good for her. She should be. I would be too. one thing girls don't think too much about is when they're heading up the field, they never think to pass it back. That's Gigi. Gigi yeah. All right. Okay. Come on, Ev. Here we go. We gotta make oh, something happen here. It. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yep, and here that girl, same girl goes again for away. Quick player. 
Uh, that's that's a rough call right there. Yeah. She's just. Oh, is that third? That's third. That's the end of the third. Yep, one more. But that was a whistle. That was a good quarter for Mansfield. That was a great quarter for Mansfield. We were 4-4, now we are 10-4. Yep. And I think we won every draw control. Every draw. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Definitely different from yesterday, yep. Monday. I think I remember when the girls were in the sixth grade, there was one team we played there. The person just took the draw every time. I, I'm not kidding when I tell you I think she was six feet tall. They yeah, won so every single one. Mm -hmm. was, was she from Attleboro? No, I don't know. I'm making that up. But I oh, well, it's, you should have kept going with it. I would have said, okay, I love it. You get a great memory. But. Ben, did you bring your binoculars? I brought my binoculars? I brought some water and I brought my reading glasses, right. but don't tell anybody <laughs> I might use these. Okay, there, there, right. I'm I'm not going down without a fight. You're See, right. I wrote my roster here in um, a 20-point font. You understand? <laughs> so just so I didn't need them. Right. <laughs> but they do help for sure. But yeah. nope, I am not going to wear them. I'd rather not balance my checkbook for the next 20 years. <laughs> because I can't read the numbers, <laughs> then put the glasses on. So that's what I'm going to do. So when's our next game? Monday. Believe Monday, right? From what I understand. What year is it away? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> and Jane, one of the, the, the uh, things you said to me to get me up into this booth was, you know what? I, ba I think you said something about it raining and it's going to be much more dry exactly. or comfortable <laughs> up here in the booth. And I said, okay, well, that's, yeah, that sounds good. That's right. That's a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, it's only the nicest day of the whole entire <laughs> last <laughs> year and a quarter, if you get my drift. <laughs> okay, so our next game is May 10th at Canton High School. So that's oh, Monday, so Canton. we're yeah. so we're away. Yep. Our next home game. May 14th at 345. All right, we'll be I'm going to text that to Jack. Yeah. May 14th. Mm -hmm. Here's the calendar if you want to see it. Do you have the MIA app? Yes. Okay, you grew up in Stanton. I was just going to say, uh, I actually grew up in Canton. Oh, you Now did. that you say that, yes. Yep. There might be some people that are here on this broadcast that might know me. Yeah. Just, just, <laughs> you don't have to say hi. You can just keep on your way and uh, know that I went, grew up in Canton and went to Severian. Nice. Everything else after that is MYOB. Mind your own business. That's oh, right from, that's straight I from the, that the files of fourth grade, I believe I heard that first. Yep. My teachers told me that all the time. Oh, okay, so we have the same girls in the midfield. Let's see if they made any substitutions on the defensive end as opposed to the attack. Looks good. Yeah, OA changed their draw, the girl who takes the draw. That's the very aggressive Ooh, girl. She's Ooh. all in there. Yeah, she is. Yep. Yeah, you got to stay on her. She's super aggressive, super fast. And that's the first draw we lost in a while. feeling if Grace Danahy was here, she'd be taking the draw sometimes also. Mm -hmm. She's very yeah. good. Very fast. Agreed. Very tall, very athletic girl. Great player. There we go. Oh. oh okay. Oh, her sister gets the pass. Yes. No, 
to stay with it. Good job, Lola. I'd love to see Lola pass it to Cammie Chandler and have her score a goal or vice versa. Two freshmen. Oh, she was right in the middle. Yeah. Wide open. Yeah. yeah. So she had a mask problem. Yeah. Or might have got hit in the mouth. Yeah. As if braces weren't enough. Now you get to pay for new teeth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hit in the mouth guard. <laughs> She saw it the whole way. This is that player that scored the last goal. I apologize for not having her name. Yeah. She's kind of like the Michael Jordan of their team. She says, if you're not going to do it, then I'm going to. Under 10 minutes left in the last quarter. Tried the high shot. Nice save. Kayla Doherty. She's down. Well, see. It appeared to me the girl just tripped. And they they, they blow the whistle. Well, they said it was a push from behind, so well, I, I don't know who they're giving it to. Okay. They're giving it to Kayla. Yeah. We'll have to review the tape on that one, folks. <laughs> I think we need instant replay up here in the booth. I think so. Yeah. Yep. It's a turnover. That's a nice double team right there. You get a, t a little tap of the stick there. You can do that. Yeah. You can't do that, though. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> it's a very hands-off sport. Girls lacrosse. Come on, get it out. Yeah, get it out. Uh, well, we'll do a double team, pass it. Good thing Melissa got it. She'll bring it up, pass it up. She's right there. Excellent. Right. Pure sister. Excellent. Right. Oh, nice pass, all right. Listen, the OA defense is good despite the score. I like the way they're playing. There was a legal check there, body check with the stick. If I'm correct, you can guide the person with your stick that you're defending. You just can't extend your arms. She's not too happy about it, the OA player number 20. Oh. 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 Lauren's very tall for somebody to intercept a pass of hers is saying something. Here we go. Yeah. There you go, Lauren. Oh, Lauren Clark, number 16, with another goal. Nice job. Next score, She's using five. her height. Yep. Oh, has she? Yes. Okay. Yes, she's, she's our go to when it's going to make it. I almost don't know where Lauren is half the time. Yes, yeah, You know what I mean? Is. Yeah, no. I don't know. We're waiting for Rosie to get her license. <laughs> so we're going to be able to drive out of That's it. right. We'll tap into that next year. <laughs> so, Abby Verricchioni is another one of the Verricchioni clan who was fantastic at lacrosse, but decided not to play this year. I was a bit surprised. Yeah. It's okay, though. Respect and hold the team. Yep. So we talked about all the girls who like to play defense and wouldn't play anything else. She didn't want to play anything but offense. Oh, right? Yep. 
Yep. She was a shooting machine. Loved scoring goals. Stay on that number 20. That's yeah, pretty yeah. decent defense. Super aggressive player, for sure. Yep, yeah, well, it's Grace Bertolino's time to shine now. Ah, uh, almost. Yep, yeah, I believe that is a score by OA. It is. Just about six minutes and 16 seconds left, 11 to 6. How about a round of applause for all these kids playing these sports yeah. with masks on? Right. <laughs> I mean, I seriously. Say, can you imagine if they took them off like the last two games, how fast they would be? <laughs> They'd be super fast. <laughs> it's like looking at them high, you know, low room temperatures. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. You okay, honey? That's a great cut, Lauren Clark, but you just have to have your stick on the other side so you can get a pass. You can't pass to your backhand. We have Bethany Sears in the game, too. Bethany Sears. Yep. And Audrey Murphy just went in on defense okay, as well. Okay, great. Hopefully they get to see some action back there. Bethany played field hockey. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah, she was super quick. Oh, she did good. a great job this season. No. No. Kelly did her sister, right? She doesn't have a sister, Kelly. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, she switched her oh, hand, right? That was good. <coughs> I gotta tell you, I like the way we're playing today. Yeah. I do. I'm feeling it. Yep, we are feeling it and this killing it. It was a good warm up. We had a mix mm -hmm. uh, Nice job there. Good try. Yep. Was that um, was that Aver again with that shot? I don't know. It was a nice pass by Bethany though into her. Yeah, that was number twenty eight Ava. That was a good shot. In traffic. And here we go. This girl is gonna take it the whole way. Looks like she might run some winter track. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she's extremely fast <laughs> and seemingly in great shape because she's not tired. She's been doing this the whole game. And just when you thought nobody could get smaller than Cami Chandler, oh. we have number nine on OA. They look oh, like really? twins out there. The girl oh, with wow. the ball. Yeah. Yep. It's a nice little shot you had there, too, for sure. Now they're playing defense on the goalie, which you probably should, and it apparently worked out in their favor. This is nice to see this extended action in our defensive zone just to get the girls used to playing a little more defense than they've been playing the whole game. Mm. There's a nice pat, nice recovery there by Grace Bertolino. Excellent job. Yeah, yep. Oh, we got a 
stay on that. Coming up on two minutes left in the game. 11 6 Hornets. It was a nice shot and a great save, too. Good job, Melissa. So quick. Nice catch in traffic, for sure. You gotta pass it. Should have clean cutter across the middle there. Ooh, a little too ooh. late. Maybe couldn't see her over the net. <laughs> Lauren Tom. just wanted to score a goal on that a one. A so hat she trick did. for her. It's a hat trick, I think, Ken. I am not oh, keeping yeah. score, but I believe it's her fourth. Oh. So we will call that <laughs> a. Thank you. A hat trick plus one. All we need is Sorry a, for the bad math, a Ken. A couple of, maybe an assist. She has an assist, too. So if Lauren gets yeah. in a, a fight, we can call it a Gordie Howe hat trick. Okay. You hockey fans at home. Okay. Okay. Of course, folks at home, I'm not promoting violence in the sport of women's lacrosse. Oh, this is Zamory <laughs> Marie on the drawer again. They kept number 20, I believe, in there for OA. We had some success against her earlier. Lola well, stopped her feet. When you stop your feet, I think bad things happen. Ugh. Now they're playing broom ball. Some Harry Potter. Yep. Or it looks like that Olympic sport of yeah, curling. Yep. And there's a score by O. Wade by that number 20. She's had a few. Sounds funny, but I think I've seen an Olympic Games where some of the some of the athletes were roughly 50, 55 years old in the sport of curling. Oh. They said that <laughs> this was one of these gentlemen's like uh, fifth Olympic Games. I'm oh like, my God. fifth? Well, you know. I love it though. I love watching it. They just got a broom and they're brooming that ice. Well, All right, good. let's keep it. It's six Come seconds, anyway. five left. Don't pass it, pass it, you get it down there. Looks like this is a result we were looking for. Hornets 12, OA nice 7. Job. Yeah, first, first game. It's a first nice game. way to start it Absolutely. off. And a, and a good game, not a, a solid game by the Mansfield team for sure. A lot Thank of you for watching. Well, folks, I guess I have to go. So uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. and. Jane Mayer, wonderful job, and Sharon Bricchioni, uh, fantastic. Thank you for your help. Ken, great job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>